everybody, it's Cynthia from Little Picassos and today we are going to do Georgia O'Keeffe's Ladder to the Moon. This is a 1958 painting and she was absolutely extraordinary. She was one of the very first renowned artists of her time, which was about a hundred years ago. And she just became completely unbelievable in everything that she had represented and she actually gave people a lot of thought on how impressionism should be so she was a contemporary artist and she made sure that people pushed their own boundaries and when i had actually seen nasa and spacex launch crew dragon a few weeks ago i thought why couldn't we do you know georgia o'keefe's ladder to the moon so i think it's super super important that we teach our children how to go beyond what they already know and to dream really really big dreams so the materials that we need today include acrylic paint so we need green we need blue we need black and we need white we also need an A4 piece of paper. A4 piece of paper. We also need some glue and some scissors as well. So the very first thing we're going to do is view what we have to paint. So this is Georgia O'Keeffe's painting, The Ladder to the Moon. It was a wooden, a wooden ladder and her inspiration was about finding more about herself and going beyond what she knew about herself and about mankind or humankind. And so the universe and the stars represent this to her. So we have small um, mountains in the background and they look like mountains from the desert. And so you can just imagine her thoughts leading up to the moon where she actually thought beyond herself and started thinking about mankind and human nature and understanding that there is something beyond us as so here we go the very first step we're going to do is create the turquoise background so we're going to put that to the side and i have an a3 piece of paper here today i'm using my very very big brush and it's a size eight or ten brush which one's this one this one's eight so we're wanting to make I'll just move the computer to the side and we're wanting to make turquoise blue. So with a little bit of green and a little bit of blue, we're going to make that turquoise. I've been using lots and lots of turquoise the last few days, as you can see. <laughs> Here we go, a little bit of white as well. There we go. And this is really, really easy for anyone to do from the age of three upwards. So what we're wanting to do, there we go, is go from side to side. There we go, using a little bit of water. There we go. And making sure we get all the edges. So we'll do this as fast as we can. So I'm running out of my turquoise, so I need to make a little bit more. So it's really easy to make just with primary blue and some green. And this is obviously acrylic paint. It's so thick. There we go. From side to side. There we go. And if we're wanting to water it down just a little bit, there we go.
check, check. And paradise is there to be taken. We had a grind and waited for vacation. Hit the destination. Party on the beach is different. Nice, different constellations. And when I look into your eyes, ain't no hesitation. Eh? Working hard with you, baby, by my side. Got 24 hours in the dark, so we're more relaxed. Sitting by the sands, catching waves in the bands. It's an honor to be with you, can baby. You make me understand what it means to be a real man. I got you covered in the brands, cause you're a real fan. I want the house in the hills. And as we can see, the last bit of acrylic dries very carefully, especially if it's just one thin coat. So her impression of reaching the moon was very much inspired by her own um, understanding of herself and how far she pushed her own boundaries. So here we go. So what we need to do, we need to grab, we're gonna put that to the side so it can dry. Here we go. And I've got my A3 piece of paper, but what I wanna do is I actually just wanna cut up maybe about four centimeters worth, as straight as possible. And I've got fairly thick paper. So here it is. So what I want to do, and the children can do this by themselves, is I want to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And I'm going to grab a Sharpie and create, oh, my Sharpie's running out. Here we go. And create a square then. So it's a H shape. And what I want to do is cut it out. Now, the kids might find this a bit difficult if you're using very, very thick paper. So what we need is we need paper that's not so thick for the kids for the actual, for the actual ladder, okay? And there we go. So that's our second step, creating the ladder. There we go. So what we need to do is we need to, <laughs> there it is. So we're going to paint that in yellow. I'll just get, get some yellow. I forgot to put that down actually. Here we go. And making sure that my, my green from my paintbrush is completely dry and I'm moving the scissors over so it doesn't get in the way. So we're trying to represent um, a wooden ladder so I want to use a little bit of white with that I'm moving a little bit to the side here we go I don't want to make it too yellow here we go so there needs to be some contrast between the turquoise background and the ladder itself oh I've got a little bit of green in here that doesn't matter right. so a wooden ladder also has elements of brown in it so we're going to create a little bit of brown as well. So a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, and a little bit of black. There we go. I've got that colour over here as well. Just a little bit more yellow. And as you can see, it can get quite messy, right? It can get quite messy, so that's okay. Here we go. Really easy for the little kids um to do this by themselves there's absolutely no harm the parents almost don't need to help them just maybe with the cutting and that's about it there we go we've got the antique look happening and you will get dirty through this project so and I'm doing this rather quickly so you can pause the video if you wish until you're finished. I'm using very, very little paint. There we go. We're also going to put that to the side now. So you're going to get dirty, okay? So don't worry and tell your children. Yes, you will get dirty for this one. Okay, we're bringing the backdrop back. Here we go. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to create some stars. Now, normally with stars, 
you can get a toothbrush and you can flick your toothbrush, but I'm going to grab just a size, a size, um, I think it's a size six. And what I want to do is I just want to put a little bit of acrylic paint on and we're just going to create, oh, I've got some in on my, on my face. <laughs> Here we go. So it does get messy, so try and keep it as low as possible. Okay, now we're creating a little bit of a um, solar system here and some stars. That's it. Now, I'm gonna just clean it, dance in the water. I'm just gonna clean it off, clean it off. And I'm going to create just with some black in the distance, some mountains. There we go, just like what she did. So she lived in New Mexico for a while. And so I'm presuming that these are parts of or memories of the mountains in the desert in New Mexico. That's it. And then I'm going to grab my ladder. Okay, but there's something missing because it's a ladder to the moon. So I'm going to place that down and I'm going to compose how I want this particular painting to be so I've got the ladder pointing towards the left she has the painting with the ladder pointing towards the right hand side there is her moon I'm going to get now my ladder is still quite wet I'm going to get a little bit of white I'm going to create a half moon on my left hand side so it's a small stroke and Half moon, just like that. There we go. Remember when something is far away, it's very, very small. There we go, just to bring it in line. There you go. Okay, I wanna grab a little bit of glue. I'm going to place this down. Oops, whoops. Just putting it to the side. There we go. My ladder to the moon, I'm tapping it down. And that's my very, very simple project. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope you really enjoyed that project. So Georgia O'Keefe's 1958 Ladder to the Moon. So make sure to like my page on Facebook and to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Little Picasso Schwabing. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.